Hi everybody, time for 10 Minute Technology Tuesday. Pretty excited about this session. I'm gonna have a series of these uh, on Excel, one of my favorite, favorite programs. I think I know more about Excel than I do about Word. I was thinking about whether I should do Excel or Google Sheets, but I figured if you know Excel, you'll be able to get Sheets. It's, um, there's a lot of similarities. So this will just be introduction to uh, Excel and a little bit about how to format the cells. I'll open up Excel in case you've never done this before. I'm going to click on Worksheet. And then I get a worksheet with all the cells uh, up immediately. Now, if I want to make, uh, I'm thinking there'll be teachers who want to make checkoff lists. That's really what my purpose is today. Maybe you want to put a number right here. Here's one of the cool things about Excel. It kind of anticipates what you want to do. I'm going to highlight one, two, three. Grab this corner right here. See how it made an X right now? Now I can drag down and it will number for me. So let's say I have a class of 25 students. There you go. It numbered it for me. I can make this, as long as this is highlighted, I can make this smaller or bigger. I'll make it smaller here. Let's say I wanted those numbers to be on the um, middle of the column. Up here is where you want to do your formatting. That's one way to do it. I'll show you another in just a second. But this decides, right here, decides where it's positioned within the cell up and down. This decides where it's positioned uh, vertically. Did I get that right? Vertically. So I'm going to go like this, and then it went into the middle. This is left justified, and this is right justified. I'll make these numbers here. To see this difference, I'm going to make these cells a little bigger so you can see what I mean about being centered in the middle. So now I have these all highlighted. I'm going to right click anywhere. Well, let's try that again. I'll highlight them again. Oops, try again. Right click, and I get some choices. These are rows, so I want to choose row height. It's at 15 now. I'll do 30, 35, just so I can demonstrate what I mean about that cell, uh, where it's positioned in the cell. Now I'll go ahead and highlight those cells again. This is highlighting the whole column. When I go out here in the numbers, this is going to highlight just the numbers. Now I told you up here it will position them in, uh, in within the cell, up and down. So see how the number made was in the center? Here will be at the bottom, and here will be at the top. So if your cell doesn't look quite right, it could be because of one of these is checked different. Let's make those go in the middle. Here's on the bottom. Here's on the top. Uh, let's also go to, so let me review what I just did. So I automatically numbered, so I typed in numbers. I think if you get three started, it will number, it'll get the sequence for you. You could put 10, 20, 30, 40, and it would know to keep counting by tens, or 5, 10, 15, it would know that. So I have these highlighted. I'll click, here's where the X is now. I drag down and it automatically numbers. Let's talk about positioning these numbers where I want them in the square. Here's centered, here's left justified, here's right justified. Here is where they're positioned within the cell. Let's put them back in the center and you can see it easier. Now they're at the top, middle, bottom of the cell. And I'll show one more thing, remind you one more thing about how to change the row height. <clears throat> so you highlight the row. I'll do that again. It's right here that highlights the whole row. Right click and I do row height. And I could change just one, or I could change a whole bunch. If I did just the cell, I don't get row height as a choice. So you have to choose over here for row height. Let's do that one again. I choose a whole bunch, I can highlight a whole bunch of rows. Change the row height. Okay. 
Okay, so today we've covered automatic numbering. Let's try that. <coughs> Excel will number for you. So I put in a pattern, highlighted them, find the X, and drag down. It automatic numbers for you. And we've talked about positioning within a, in the square. So here is right justified. That's what it is right now. Here is center justified, left justified. And then we've talked about where to position it in the cell this way. We talked about uh, row height by right clicking and choosing row. Oh, now you don't see row height right now because I don't have this part highlighted. Let's do that one more time. If I highlight here, now it can change the row height. Well, there's another way that you could also get to it, the formatting these cells besides looking up here. If I want to format just one cell, I could right click and I could choose format cells. When I choose format cells, I can get a little bit more detailed things where I can choose the currency, I could choose alignment, font. These kind of things are also up on the top. If you can't find them up on the top, right click format cells. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to Excel and I'll be doing a lot more with it. So start off by making a chart and see if you can try the automatic numbering and moving the numbers from left justified, right justified, and center, top and bottom. Thanks. Have a good day.